So it if it is the what is the legal basis of this sir? What is the legal basis of this in the absence of a data protection law in India? No, no, no. Is it is it not the whether the government is allowed to know this is where which country you are uh, going? Yes, whether but not some, US, not, not some of the other points. Not not some of the other points. Point six, seven, eight. Uh, points uh, uh, seven, eight, and nine. Right and points. My answer, 17, my question. 17, 18, and 19 are new don't, points. Don't don't feel cornered. I am not feeling question. cornered. I am merely I, trying I, to I tell you no. So the, the, okay, I, one I, second. I, I'll, answer I'll, I'll answer that question. The government Apart, is allowed to take the data. No, it's not allowed to take the data in the absence of a data protection bill. One minute. Apart. Apart. One second, sir. You may find something of support. Apart. Hold on. Apart. Go ahead. Apart, go ahead. Yes. So, 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 when a question is put, is the government allowed to collect this data? Let's just look ten days into the future, which marks the fifth year anniversary of the Putuswami Right to Privacy Judgment, in which it outlines how the government can collect the data. There needs to be a legal basis for it. Now, admittedly, there have been regulations which have been made. So, there's a law. But the court says going beyond the artifact of a law, a regulation, it needs to be assessed for necessity, proportionality and safeguards. And on these features, this regulation fails. Now, I'll tell you what's the difference which has occurred due to this regulation. Earlier, information used to be shared by airlines on an ad hoc basis, which means when the customs department asked it for it. And this was the advanced pa passenger information system in which only foreigners data was primarily shared. And this is collected 15 minutes before the flight boards, right? So it is then transmitted after that. Now there is a need to share information, but the system instituted is bulk collection. So by itself, everyone, not only foreigners, for all in international passenger travel, 18 points as Vishnu, as you pointed out, will be collected some things which are now necessary to understand. Where does this data go? This data goes to the custom department, but the custom department will run a risk analysis on this. This data is shared at least 24 hours before. What is the basis of the risk assessment? Is it done by a manual officer? Is it done by an algorithm? What if there are false positives? No clarity is there. Secondly, what's important to notice in this regulation is that the data collected by the customs department can be shared with any government department. This is stated in regulation 3B. And what's more important is this data is stored for five years. That's an inordinately long period of retention for flight travel. What will you use it to gain? And even when this data is deleted, it's not destroyed. It's only anonymized. And the proviso says you can re-identify a person. So this is an overbroad, disproportionate collection of data and it needs to be put to question because there is no data protection authority. On 3rd August, the bill was even withdrawn and we don't know what's the path ahead. On the other points with respect to comparison with international countries, I'll come a little later, but I'd like to uh, just open this up based on these points from so the we make that point on international countries. How does India differ yes, so, or, okay, or not so, differ? So on, so after the September 11th attacks, there was a need for sharing flight data yes. in a much more real time basis with custom authorities. But countries, when they have sought overbroad collection, there have been two distinguishing features from India. The first has been they have had data protection authorities, which means that when the custom authority collects this data, there's an independent third party framework which checks that this data is used only for that purpose. It's not used for profiling, political uh, uh, attacks, etc. And it's not even shared with other law enforcement yeah. agencies because it can then be used in different ways. The second and, and, thing, and as citizens, you can challenge, you can challenge the government or whichever agency yes, taking the data. It is exactly. listed so how I'm you can legally challenge it. Feature. The second distinguishing feature actually comes from a lot of judgments from the European Court of Justice, where it has in fact restricted this five year limitation to say six months. Right. Bulk collection to say only specific airports where you find risk, not a always on system and also delete this data. You can't share it with other law enforcement entities. The customs department uses it only for the purpose for which it is gathered. So by itself, this comparison with 60 other countries is completely misplaced. Yeah.